And that search is amazing. Oh, what it means today I'm going to be talking about the costumes you wear, I mean the outfits you wear when you are a pet. Uh, super happy, really empathetic, uh, she feels people. It was on November 1st, 2017. Um, I was driving uh, to work with Adasa. We, we got to an intersection where I had to stop and I, uh, on my attempt to try to stop, I hit a black ice on the road and the back tire started to skid and there was a bus coming uh, on the opposite direction and they hit us. Uh, on the right side where she was. And when I, caught, I wake up and again, uh, conscious to myself and I look on my right just to see if she was okay. And she wasn't responding, so I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I, what, my legs were stuck, I couldn't move. I didn't know what, what was going on, if she was okay, if she wasn't okay. It was just a nightmare. You know, it's that moment where your whole life flip in one fraction of a second. A little girl is still fighting for her life. She remains in a coma after the vehicle she was in collided with a bus on Manning Drive last week. One nurse came to let me know that they did everything they could, but that she won't make it. And. I remember that time, that's when I pick up all the little pieces I have of fate. And I, if I can make an image, I kind of make an, a ball of energy of my fate and I throw out to God and I say, okay, this is not the day my daughter's gonna die. And I remember I look into the nurse's eyes and I say, please go back and try again because God is not done yet. It's not today that my daughter is going to die. We, they were talking about giving her compassion care, which is means just to unplug everything and let her body go and let herself uh, go in peace. Uh, I refused um, because I still had that faith that God will do something way more than that. Slowly she started taking her own breath and different improvement. Uh, obviously, we had another big meeting saying, well, she's still in a coma. Yes, her brain started to pick up on some functionality of the body, but because of the injury, how severe it was, they didn't believe she will actually get out of it and be functional. A couple months prior to the accident, I decided to come back to church. And they were advertising for Connect Group, and I was looking, and I was like, okay, I've been in this church for long. Now it would be the time to actually connect with people. And I was praying to connect with Christian, and I was like, the only way I can do that is through those Connect Group. Uh, so I signed up from the first meeting I went to. I just felt, this is it. <laughs> in that Connect Group, where there was other Christian, they believe in God, they have their own struggles. I feel like I belong. I'm so glad I did, because I would never have that kind of relationship otherwise. At the end of April, officially she came out, and that was amazing. I remember, like after going through all that five months, her being asleep and not doing anything significant that would show me that she would get herself back. The biggest test that they were doing was, you know, when they asked, can you show me one finger and can you show me two fingers? Apparently that's one of the hardest things for the brain to do. So for months we were waiting for that and finally she did it and slowly she started to gain a little bit of control of her right arm. Pretty much all the internal functionality of the body came back. So the brain took over. Uh, she didn't need any assistance from the machine. Uh, that was amazing. From the moment of the accident, uh, the people from the Connect Group, they were there. They, they were at the hospital uh, every day with me, praying, uh, driving me around and doing amazing things. They put together um, 
a benefit concert for uh, Adasa and uh, financially they raised enough money for me to get an accessible van fully adapted and I don't think that would have happened otherwise if it wasn't for them. Now she is at the point where they can put her in a standing frame because we are hoping that she can walk. From becoming to that girl who was supposed to be in a vegetative state, bound to bed for the rest of her life, not being able to enjoy life, she's at the point where like, oh yeah, now she would be able to walk. If you come to church and you don't make a little bit of effort to meet other people, it, it's gonna become hard. You come and then you go. And I think the best way of really growing your faith and expand your Christianity is to join one of those groups. And there's a lot, there's a lot. And connecting with like-minded people, you make your faith so much more strong. And I would highly recommend to join any connect group. So for me, like coming back to church and deciding to join that group, and I, I always thought, what if I never joined the connect group? What if, what happened?